With series shortcuts coming out soon, I wanted to take a minute and talk about some of my favorite workflows and how either I or others put them together. Now, series shortcuts is replacing workflow when iOS 12 comes out, but all the workflows that I'm talking about here today will just move over to shortcuts when the app does come out. So there's no fear of like losing anything or anything. This, this will still be relevant even if you're watching this after shortcuts comes out. Um, this means you can download everything and it's just going to work just fine. Um, I will, of course, have all the links to all the workflows that I'm talking about in the description below. So let's take a look at some of my favorite workflows. This first one seems simple, but I use it so much, and that is to just quickly do a Google search. From anywhere in iOS, I can just pull down and run this workflow. It will ask me for the text I wish to search against, and then it'll pull up the results. Pretty simple, but very handy. I don't use a calendar as much as I used to, but it's still nice to be able to quickly add a new entry to my calendar. This workflow will ask me for the date and appointment that I want to schedule, and then it'll show me any existing appointments I already have so I don't double book myself. Then since I use Fantastical, I can take advantage of its natural language support and just type out what I want my calendar entry to be. If you do wish to use another calendar app, you can easily switch it out from Fantastical, but I do recommend having Fantastical around for how easy it is to enter appointments. I've talked a lot about this one, but I like to be able to quickly add a new task to my task manager, but without seeing what's currently going on. This workflow just asks me for what the task is, and then I'll drop it into my inbox. I go through my inbox about twice a day to sort through my tasks and assign dates. Again, this is one of those ones that can easily be modified to fit whatever task manager you want, as long as it either supports workflow or X callback URLs. This next one is built off the menu system. It'll prompt for three different options, video, podcast, or blog post. I'll run these at the start of a new project and it'll build out a checklist for me to keep track of where I am in this project. So depending on which one I pick, it will build out a checklist based off that new project. So let's pick video. This will then ask for the title of the video and then build out the video project template from the URL we have set up. If we open things, you'll see the new project in the video project area with a full checklist of every step I go through. Same will happen with either podcast or a blog post. It's very flexible and it's easily changed or added to as well. I wanted a way to quickly pass an article or an app or any sort of URL to my task manager for me to follow up with later. This workflow will take the URL from input, grab the title, and then prompt for what I want to tag the task. Right now I have it just set up to drop every task in the inbox. This way I can kind of sort through it later. This will work for more than just web pages too. I use this for apps a lot as well. This may be one of my most used workflows. This workflow is probably pretty self-explanatory. It just makes a new draft. On my iPad, I have focus mode in drafts on. This is because I jump around a lot when I'm writing. So I wanted a quick way to be able to type some text and then it creates a new draft. In this workflow, it starts off with an ask for input function. I just enter the text that I want in the draft. Since Drafts 5 isn't currently supported in workflow, but it is supported in shortcuts, I have to use an X callback URL. This is just a URL that tells drafts what to do but it does have to be encoded as a URL, so we use the URL encode function after the ask for input. This will convert text to a URL scheme. Then using magic variables, the URL encoded text is placed into the X callback URL and then opened up in drafts. I wanted a way to take selected text from any application or the web and create a new draft. With this workflow, you just select the text and then run the workflow from the share sheet, and then it'll create a new draft with that text in it. This is another workflow that takes advantage of magic variables and X callback URLs. So I know this isn't a true Git repository, but I needed a different name other than archive, and it functions very much like Git. This workflow allows me to set a name for a file and then upload it to the folder called Git in my Dropbox. I use this workflow to manually back up my projects I'm working on. This can be text files, LumaFusion projects, a podcast edit. I wish the backup system was a little more fleshed out on iOS, but this works for me for now. This workflow is one from the gallery and it's probably the most important one to have from there. Safari doesn't have a good system for downloading files, but this workflow fixes that. It'll grab the contents of a URL, download it, and then open the files app and ask you where you want to save it. This fixes my biggest issue with Safari on iOS. In my day job, I have to deal with a lot of zip files. This workflow will take a look at the file I'm currently giving it and unzip the file if it's a zip file. If I'm not giving it a zip file, it'll prompt me for files that I wish to zip up, and then will ask me where I want to save it. This is the fastest way I've found to deal with zip files on iOS. 
I don't remember where I got this one, but I'm pretty sure I didn't make it. This workflow will take any URL and shorten it, and then it'll just save it to the clipboard. It's pretty handy to have if you deal with a lot of different URLs and you kind of want to have everything formatted a little bit nicer. If you write Markdown, this one's for you. This will take any Markdown document, convert it to rich text, and then save it as PDF. I use this a lot for marking up my scripts. I just started working on this one, so it's not done. The goal of this is to quickly launch my favorite Apple Music playlist. It starts by asking me which playlist I want, then grabbing the playlist and playing the music. I also have it set to show a notification of the playlist name. You can add more playlists by adding more prompts in the menu area. My goal is to have my top 10 to 15 playlists here so I can quickly launch them from the Today widget. Last workflow I want to cover is Workflow Backup. This gets all your workflows, zips them up, and saves them to the Files app. I've deleted workflows I shouldn't have had before, and this has saved me a couple of times. I recommend running this every week or so. So that's it for all the workflows that I have right now that I think would benefit you guys. Um, when Shortcuts does come out, I'm going to be doing a really deep dive into the app. I have like a series of videos planned all the way from the basics to doing some really advanced scripting stuff with it. If you're interested in hearing more about workflow and shortcut stuff right now, though, you can check out my podcast, The Slab of Glass. I'll have links in the description. The last couple of episodes have been all about uh, shortcuts and workflow and kind of automating on iOS. Um, if there's something in particular you guys are excited about automating, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.